Welcome to XR template tutorial lesson number 22. For this XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to show you to embed a YouTube video, which I'm pretty sure you're excited about since a lot of people are on YouTube. So let's say that you you go on the internet. In this case, I'm going to go to my, my web browser. Don't worry about uh, going into XR Web Designer quite yet. Let's go to, to the web, our web browser. And you may have Internet Explorer or something else like that. But whatever the case, whichever browser you use, go ahead and open that now for your internet. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to YouTube and I'm going to retype it so I can kind of take you through this process. So go to YouTube.com. And if you don't know how to spell that, it's Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. -E. And I'll let you take a look at it as I type it in my address bar up here. So type this into your your uh, web address bar, and it'll just see something similar similar to this depending on what uh, web browser you're in. Type www.youtube.com, and then once you type that, you should see your cursor in there. Make sure it's still in there, and you should see a blink. It should see a blinking cursor there. And if you do, go ahead and hit your enter key, and it will take you to youtube.com. And I don't know if this is going to hold hold true later down the road but for right now I know that you can type in Xara and that's X A R A space key templates so just make sure you have a space between Xara and templates and again your cursor should be blinking in there go ahead and hit the enter key and you'll see some of our videos and again I said I don't know if this will hold true later down the road so if this doesn't hold true you may have to type something different to find one of our videos but let's say that you know for this is going to actually stay true forever you type in XR templates and that's X A R A and then space templates and then you look for one of our videos and say oh yeah I see a video for training click on one of the links for that and you go to one of our videos and let's say you watch the video and you really like it and you like to share with other people which you can because we allow all of our videos to be embedded and let's say that at the end of it you do like it and you pause it and say okay let's go ahead and embed this on my site because I really like this video and I want to share with other people you'll look for uh, an icon that says share and that's the icon right here it's right beneath the video right next to the like button if you like this video give us a thumbs up and if you like the, the current video that you're watching, I mean, give us a thumbs up. Uh, but right next to that button, you'll see the share button, and you're going to click on that. And so left click on that share button. And once you do, the first thing you'll see is actually what's called a URL, which is like a, a .com for, for this video. But we're not going to use that because we want to actually embed the physical video and not just linking to it. So instead of copying this you're going to go to the button to the right of it that says embed so left click on that and once you click on that embed button you'll see another menu that pops up right beneath it with some highlighted text well once you see that highlighted text you're going to hit the control key and hold that down and then while you're hold, holding down the control key press C and once you copy that you'll be ready to go let's go ahead and go back to uh, the XAR Web Designer 7 premium software if you haven't already, go ahead and open up a blank new document in it. So I'm going to go back to it. If you haven't opened open it yet, I'll try to wait for you for a little bit. Give you some time to open that. Okay. If you got the program open, let's go ahead and go to the Quick Shape Tools. And guess what? We're going to be drawing a square. So select your rectangle tool and go ahead and draw a square. And guess what? you're going to actually be happy to draw a rectangle this time it's not going to just be a boring rectangle on your screen for no reason so draw a decent size uh, rectangle we try to draw it roughly the size of the video that we had on the page and I can go back to that video just so you can kind of get an idea of how big it is so try to draw one roughly that size it doesn't have to be exact and it doesn't actually really matter if it's not exact but I want to try to get it roughly the same size and once you draw that rectangle go ahead and right click on it after you have it make sure you have it selected and you should you should see these uh, you know square nodes so make sure you have it the rectangle selected and then right click on it and you'll see an option at the bottom that says web properties 
and that's the menu that we need to get to and alternatively if you don't remember to right click you can also make sure you have this rectangle selected again I deselected it by accident if you look at the top here you'll see an option for utilities and your menu up the top left click on that and you'll see an option for web properties there too and then you'll also see the shortcut key so there's two different ways to access it but in this case I'm going to access it by directly left clicking on the rectangle first and then right clicking over the rectangle and then going to web properties so left click on web properties and you'll get a web properties menu and within this web properties menu you're going to go to the placeholder tab so look for this tab that says placeholder and left click on that and you're presented with a series of options for the placeholder but we're not going to look at all the things in here we're going to specifically look at the option that says replace with HTML code and we'll also look at the option for regenerate placeholder image automatically so those are the two that we're going to focus on so let's go ahead and do go to the HTML code body this is where you're going to place your code that you copy from YouTube and just kind of remember that anytime that you want to display something on your site that is in some kind of code format it usually is probably going to go in the body section that may not always hold true but typically that's that's the case so remember anytime you want to embed a YouTube video click on HTML code body and that's what it says here left click on that and you'll get another menu that pops up and it says code here is placed in the body of the current page so when you embed, when you put this code in here from the YouTube video it's not going to put it on every page it's going to put it on just this particular page so go ahead and hit your control key hold that hold the control key down and while you're holding down the control key press V and it'll paste that code we got from YouTube once you do that go ahead and click on the OK button with your left click mouse button and now we're going to also go over the next part the regenerate placeholder image automatically and what that is going to do is going to grab a a thumbnail from from the internet to kind of display what it would look like if that video was on your website bef without having to go to preview mode so what we're going to do is we're going to actually left click that button or the checkbox and so make sure you got the check checkbox there and uh, if you don't want to generate the thumbnail you don't have to but I prefer to because it kind of gives me an idea of where the video is placed at in the website and it gives me an idea to see what the video looks like with all the other content on the website and if it flows or if it doesn't look right so I tend to keep that check you don't have to but I, pr I would highly recommend that you do and then you'll go down to the bottom of the web properties menu and hit the apply key with your left click mouse button and then it's going to regenerate a a thumbnail and in this case it it didn't generate it properly so sometimes you have to actually regenerate move your video around so what I would do is I would go ahead and hit the OK key for now in your web properties menu and it should try to regenerate that thumbnail again after we hit the OK key and if it doesn't generate it right I would left click on a square and drag it around or resize it until you get that video to display correctly because sometimes it's not able to catch the image properly and it may just be my computer so I'm gonna keep resizing this until I can get the thumbnail to show sometimes it just doesn't work right for me and it may be the size of my rectangles why it's not showing it properly but eventually you should get something like this you I don't know if you can see that on screen but it's kinda got the the header or the title for the video and then you see the little play icon for when you click play and what we're going to do is we're going to go to file preview so that you can see that this video is now not just a square it's actually a physical video embedded into your website so go to file up in the upper left hand corner of your uh, website I mean of your of Xar Web Designer if you go to that file menu you'll go to the option that says preview web page so left click on that and once you click on that preview button you should see a video and as you can see now that video that we were looking at is now embedded into our website and in this case you can also see that part of the video is cut off you can't see the play options well actually no it may not be cut off I think I just need to hit the play button 
No, it is cut off. So if you find yourself in a situation where you can't see the play controls, that means you're going to need to resize the video. So go ahead and close this preview mode out by clicking the red X in the upper right hand corner. And let's go ahead and make this rectangle taller because we can't see the player controls. So I'm kind of glad that did happen because you want to be able to see all those things when you're dealing with the video. So don't worry if you can't see the placeholder. Sometimes it just doesn't work properly. But after you resize that video and make it larger, go to File and Preview again, Preview Web Page. And this time we should be able to see those controls unlike before. And it may be that I need to actually go to the internet. Let's test it in the internet and see what happens. Yeah, okay. So that's what the problem was. It doesn't display properly, I guess, in preview mode within XR. So just make sure that you go to preview it in the web browser, like I did in this case, and you'll see that it has the controls for the video. For some reason, it's not displaying correctly right now. And on my computer, at least, it may not be the same on yours. But uh, that's why it's important to go ahead and preview the website in the web browser because sometimes what you see in the preview mode is not 100% accurate. But once you, you've done that and you've had an opportunity to see how it looks, you should be good to go on embedding videos in YouTube. If you have any questions on how to embed videos, you know, send us a message and give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful in helping you to understand how to embed videos from YouTube on your website. And just like any other element in XR, if you move this rectangle around, you'll be able to uh, reposition this video wherever you would like it to be at. So again, thanks for viewing this tutorial, and I hope that you stay tuned to see additional tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to try to make great videos for helping you learn how to use XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Yeah.